Hi friends, welcome to Champions of Canada. Today, our champion guest is Paul Leblanc. He is the president of the BC Chess Federation. We would like to welcome him to today's show. And we have Umang Banwala, who is the secretary, secretary of, of the BC Chess yeah. Federation. Welcome to Champions of Canada. Hi Paul, welcome to our show Champions of Canada. Thank you you are much. truly a champion chess player, chess administrator and chess organizer. And more than anything, you're a great volunteer. Well, I do what I can. And you are really <laughs> champion of Canada. Thank yes. you. So how did the journey begin? I mean, where did you do your education, college? Where were your mom and dad from? Oh, well, I, I grew up in Sturgeon Falls, Ontario, a very small town in northern Ontario. Okay. 6,000 people. I went to high school there. And my parents, uh, one, my father is French Canadian, my mother is English Canadian, so I have both cultures in me. Oh, fantastic. And uh, my family's been in Canada for 400 years. Okay. Uh, I grew up on a farm. Yeah. And uh, learned how to do, take care of uh, farm animals and yes. do chores. So mm. it was a very healthy upbringing. Mm. I went to high school in uh, Sturgeon and Falls, Ontario. Yeah. And then I went to the University of Waterloo after that. Uh, all of this time from high school to university, I took up the game of chess, which interested me very much. Yeah, but before that, you're also a commander in yeah. the Royal Navy. Oh, yes. The yes. Canadian Royal Navy. Yes, when I finished university, I joined the, uh, the Canadian Navy. Okay. And uh, I did 35 years with the Navy. I started at, as the most junior officer on board the ship and worked okay. my way up to ship's captain. Yeah. And I was captain of three it's different It's like ships. a pawn to the <laughs> king and the I, queen. Yes, I was yeah, promoted to, to captain, captain eventually. Excellent. <laughs> So how your uh, interest was developed uh, towards the chess? Like well, that? it started with a, uh, one of our neighbors received a chess set for Christmas. Mm. And neither one of us knew how to play, but it came with a book of instructions. And so uh, the neighbor invited me over to read the book and try and figure out how yeah. to play. And mm. so we, we we played a very rudimentary game of chess and it, it really caught my interest because there's so much variety in the game. And it, How old was at the time? He said, I how was, old were you at the time? Uh, I was about 14, I think, okay. early high school years. Okay. Yeah. And then, uh, and then when, when I started high school, a couple of my friends already knew how to play. So, uh, so the, that's the, how it basically the game began. Yeah. The yeah. game had begun. So yeah. that's it. So, um, if we have to um, say um, as a subtext, if we have to see uh, w which is the highest level of chess in Canada. Mm -hmm. the administrative body and how does it come mm -hmm. down or does it go from down to up or up to down? Oh, uh, you mean aside from playing chess, now you're talking yes. about the organization. Yes, the yes. organizations. Yes, well we have the Chess Federation of Canada which uh, has a small office in Ontario okay. and they administer the rating system, okay. uh, the website and there are connection to the World Chess Federation. Okay. And what about the uh, provinces? How do they administer the game of chess? Do, are they guided by the CFC, the Chess yes, Federation of Canada, yes, or are. are they independent? Well, we're independent as far as um, uh, you know, running chess in our province, but there, there are a lot of pan-Canadian rules that we all follow. So, uh, and also the Canadian Championships. We all feed mm -hmm. into the Canadian Championships, the women's, the, the men's champion, the junior champion, the senior champion. So this is all coordinated by the Chess Federation of Canada. How do you compare between you know uh, uh, BC and the other uh, provinces? Uh, you know, the, the standard of the yeah. game, yeah. the yeah. levels and of players. Ontario so. is the powerhouse. Oh, oh yes. If if you if you took, made a list of the top hundred players in Canada, about seventy of them would live in Ontario. Oh, 71. Very, 70 very, or 70. very strong. And Quebec also mm -hmm. would be number two. Ha has there ever been a grandmaster from Canada? On the world level, the world stage. Yes. Oh, yes. We've yes. Had we've had yes. several. We've had, we've had uh, I would say, three in our history who were contenders okay. for the world championship. Didn't, mm -hmm. didn't quite get there, but okay. Three, but it was very strong, and what? and probably another dozen grandmasters uh, over the years. Yeah. yeah. But uh, we never had Canada has never had a world champion. No. No. Not uh, not um, adults. We've had some juniors and some of the kids world champion. We had uh, a young fellow from Victoria who won the world under ten champion. Oh, world under ten. Yeah, and we also have the, the world junior champion currently is from Quebec. How, so, how, do, how do you feel that interest in chess? You know, uh, toward the schools and then the uh, community, the community, yes. and then how does the community help? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does the community help in chess, 
or supports or schools. The, how, what's the support system that chess per se receives from the community? It's it's a it's been a long journey. Uh, I must say that uh, 15 years ago, chess came close to dying out. Okay. Um, there was not much interest, uh, mm. there was not much support from anybody. Mm. But then um, things started to change. And part of the reason, I think, is the development of the internet. It's, it's a bit counterintuitive that Correct. suddenly you can play chess, chess online. Why would you go to a chess club? Yeah, and sit but offline. It, and But it got yeah. people interested. And millions of people started playing Correct. chess online. And then with that experience, they wanted to see what live chess would be like. So they started showing up at tournaments. And yeah. the kids got interested. Um, and the, once the kids got interested, the schools started supporting them. We have a Vancouver chess school, for example, that's been uh, graduating hundreds of kids every year. So I, I would say the, the internet was, was a big factor. And we've also had some interesting world champions, uh, you know, an Indian, a Norwegian, not yes. the usual Russian champion. And that's generated a lot of interest in, you know, in the population of those areas of the world. Yeah, as a matter of fact, India, I think, is right on top of the game with the US, uh, yeah, with Russia. We probably and have more members than anybody. Yes, anybody yeah. in the world. Yeah. So what do you think, where you feel that the more interest uh, in the schools or the outside, like it, uh, there are some the clubs, chess clubs, and then, you know, uh, chess in the schools. Uh, they are too. So what do you think, that the, uh, where the more interest is? Well, the, the, uh, the tournaments are the focus. Okay. Everybody wants to compete. They want to see how they, their play compares to other players. They want to get a rating and they want to improve and get a higher and higher rating. Schools support this, but 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 it's only a support role. The schools uh, can only go so far. The people want to compete, right. Right? so they have to go to tournaments. And, so and they you, love it. your main uh, you know motto or, or interest is to organize the uh, tournaments or in coaching as well. Yeah, tournaments is my my main. my part of chess is to organize tournaments. I I have not done very much coaching. I, I play a lot. I organize a lot of tournaments and. Uh, you know, I've also, as you know, been moving up in the chess federation so that I can, you know, promote chess from, from a position on the, on the executive. And oh. obviously, congratulations, now you're the president of the BC Chess, BC chess federation. federation. Yes. So, uh, good job done. Uh, well, I, I paid Paul. my dues. I was treasurer for 12 years yes. and I understudied wow. uh, yeah. the, the, the present president before me and so... So, so what, what do you ready. feel feel the future of the chess in our BC and, uh, you know, Canada? Oh, I'm, very, I'm very optimistic. Very optimistic. If you if you look at um, our tournaments, we've our attendance has doubled in the past uh, ten years, and we've attracted uh, all age groups. It, it used to be all old guys, and then it became <laughs> old guys and lots of kids with the missing middle. And now we've got everybody. We've got a lot of players in, in every age group. So I'm very optimistic. The tournaments are getting uh, more and more popular. There are more of them, and more people coming in. To chess, to, to take an interest and want to promote it and, and help develop it. How many organizations are in, uh, involved in, uh, in, in tentatively a ballpark figure yeah. as to how many organizations must be running their chess clubs or? Yeah, we well yeah, we have about uh, probably about six organizers in British Columbia that are generating significant activity. Uh, Ten years ago, there was only. One. One. Yeah. Yeah. So it, I'm sure it must be headed by you. It was. It was my group. Yeah, that's why I, I guess. I yeah. guess. <laughs> yeah, we were. <laughs> we were. We were running all the tournaments. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we were running all the tournaments from Victoria. We would come over yeah. from Victoria to the mainland and run the tournaments here. And there only were about five tournaments. Yeah. Now so, there's you can't even count them. There's so many. So. Do, do we have any any tournaments between the provinces, like inter provinces? Inter -province yes. Tournaments. Yes. Yes. We we play uh, Washington once per year. Hmm. We've been doing that for eight years now, mm. and two years ago we started playing Alberta. So we, we now have two two years of playing matches against Alberta, and then within Canada, um, the provinces compete at the junior level. There's mm -hmm. there's no uh, senior um, uh, chess team competition. Yeah, but but the kids do. They're, they have, there's there uh, competition for uh, grade one to twelve. Mm. Uh, so we send a team to that every year, and there's competition for each age, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, and 18, and we send players to that. So the, the, the kids love to travel, the parents you know, take them wherever they need to go to play chess. So the, 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 the big success area in chess has been the juniors, 
Yeah. It's, it's been many years now we have a lot of experience, you know, in uh, this uh, field. How much support you are getting from the community or, you know, the organization? We are getting the PC, back to the same PC, question. Yeah, yeah, the BC mm -hmm. mm -hmm. getting any funding yes. or anything? Yeah, how how does the chess uh, federation, the BC chess federation, federation get their funds from? From the players. From the players. Yes. Okay. It's an entry-based one? The, we, we, sponsorship is very difficult to get for chess. chess. It, it's just not flashy enough. It's not like sports Baseball. where things are happening yeah. fast and you know, people to watch it. Yeah. It, it, it's, people say it's like watching paint dry if you're watching yeah. a chess game. So it doesn't appeal to the non-chess playing public. And most of the government organizations they don't see a, you know, a need to fund it. We have had some success. We have, the provincial government has given us some money when we've had big tournaments here. We had the Canadian Open in 2012. We got a grant from the provincial government. We had the Canadian Junior Championship in 2009. We got a grant from the BC government. Uh, but generally, it's from the players. And, the, and most importantly, the chess parents we really support chess. So if the kids get involved in chess, the chess parents will help. Volunteer, they'll help pay for the rent of the facilities, they'll pay, help pay for the travel costs. So, and that's, that's the way it is. Like, you know, chess players are, are generous when it comes to chess, they, they believe in it. So, overall, we can see that there's a bright future for the game of chess mm -hmm. any day, any time, which is obviously um, developing in BC at least in a big way. And uh, we foresee that uh, under the able Presidentship of uh, Paul called? LeBlanc, but, yeah. things are going to be improving and getting better. So, yeah. last question. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, he always <laughs> asks the last question. Any secret that you need to share? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Any secret that you need to share about the game of chess? <laughs> which, which, which you want to teach to the you know, audience that you know this is the best position or to play. Or I'll tell you, know. I'll tell you a couple of things. For yeah. one thing. Everybody believes deep in their heart that they're the next world champion. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good, that's, that's what a good motivates us. Yeah. We motivate. We can yes. improve, 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 and yeah. and eventually become the world champion. Everybody right. believes yes. that. And why not? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Um, education is democrat uh, democratized, so chess can be too. So mm. that's it. Yes. So Amarjit, I think we can just pick up a king, and from both and from both of our sides, this is a king for you. Yes. And. You are the king of chess. Yeah. All the best uh, and have fun. Thank you. Know, and this. thank you very much for coming on our show. And we wish you all the best for your future. Thank you for the time. Thanks, Thanks for coming. Thank, 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 thank you for making this effort thank to help you. us with making yes. chess better known to the public. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right.